uh, as we continue on the line of scrimmage, just moving outside to those outside linebackers and the edge defenders. I think one of the biggest things going forward about this team is Chase Winovich and his future and his role. So let's start there. We'll get into some of the other guys too, but with Chase Winovich, is he on the team? Is he a potential guy that they might look to trade at the end of training camp? Is he someone that maybe what's the future hold for Chase, I guess is the best way to put it. I it's, it's going to be about, positional versatility for him if he's only playing defense you know defensive end outside linebacker edge whatever yeah i don't know that that's going to be enough for him to make the roster i think he's going to have to play defensive end he's going to have to play stand-up outside linebacker I'd, I'd like to see him back at middle linebacker after that game he had last year where he was so good against baltimore you know he doesn't need to play a ton there, but if you know he can play there, it makes him that much more valuable because it adds depth. Playing on special teams is obviously something he's going to need to do. I don't think the Patriots are ready to give up on him just yet. I think if they were, they would have already done it. Uh, you know, they they had that little bit of a uh, of a cap crunch there, and they could have moved him, and that would have helped. But he's going to need to show he can play all over the defense. I think playing every spot in the front seven is the key. Even if he's playing interior and in like obvious pass rushing situations, you know, when you get into third and fifteens, things like that, even hail mary situations, I wouldn't hate seeing him in that spot. I don't know if he can do it. He's shown me enough that I'd like to see him try. So yeah. I, you know, if you. I'm going to cross sports here, and I know you're not supposed to do that, but, you know, look at how valuable a guy like Brock Holt was for the Red Sox when he was here. It's not that he was this amazing player, but he could play everywhere, and there's inherent value in that. It's almost like could Chase Winovich be the Brock Holt of the Patriots front seven, where if somebody needs a breather or if some, you know, one reason or another, you need to take somebody out, you just have Chase Winovich that you can plug in wherever on the front seven to give you a couple snaps. I think that that, you know, that is ideally his role and I think he could fit that role. I think there's reps there for Chase Winovich to play inside linebacker. And that's always sort of been to me because he's a very, very effective pass rusher. He's been an effective pass rusher from his rookie year on in the NFL. He's gotten after the quarterback just fine. He's got great speed off the edge. He's got great snap timing to jump the snap and, and turn the corner. He's got flexibility out there to bend. He can get after the quarterback. He's been one of the Patriots' most effective per snap pass rushers and even overall last year over the last couple of years since they drafted him. So we know we can rush the quarterback. The problem for him playing out on the edge has always been setting it, right? He just isn't an edge setter. He's a guy that wants to get vertical. He wants to get up the field. He's not an edge setter. He was 240, 245 when he came in. I, I know Mike Reese had that report earlier in the off season that he's spoke to Rob Ninkovich, uh, Chase Winovich did, spoke to Rob Ninkovich, sat down with Ninko, said, what can I do to, to stick here, right? Like, what can, what can I do to, to be a, a full-time player here? And Ninkovich's recommendation was to bulk up, right, and, and get bigger, put on some weight so that he can set the edge more effectively. And Winovich has done that by all accounts. And, and Reese had that report a few months ago that he that, that was the focus of his offseason. I can, I guess I can kind of see where they're coming from there, but with Judon in the fold and Van Noy in the fold and Jennings and Ronnie Perkins as re recent draft picks that are going to be playing out on the edge, it just feels to me like being athletic, flying to the football, all the things that popped for Chase Winovich right when he got here as a rookie in that rookie in that rookie training camp in that rookie preseason, the most effective thing about him is his athleticism and the fact that he plays with his hair on fire, right? And and that those things are great about him. So to bulk him up and get him to 255, 260 and slow him down, I don't know. To me, moving him off the line of scrimmage, having him play inside linebacker like he did in that Baltimore game because they threw him in the middle of the season into a role that he had never played before. And he played it – more or less pretty effectively. There were some times where he was susceptible to, to cutbacks and things like that, but for the most part, he played it pretty effectively. Now imagine a whole off season, a whole training camp of learning that role. It, he's going to be even better, right? You know, he's going to be even more effective. So first and second down, it's similar to what I think they'll, they'll try to do with Uche is first and second down. You play him at inside linebacker off the line of scrimmage. And then on third down in obvious passing situations, he's in those pass rush packages. And I, I feel like that's 
what Chase Winovich's best route is. The problem is, and we're going to get to Uche in a second, is that that's also Uche's best way to, to play, right? And that's also the way that they're probably going to use Uche. So then how those two guys really start to overlap and start to compete for snaps. 